Scott, thanks so much for uh, allowing me to be part of the uh, podcast. Most people speak on their throat. I think you'd be a superstar in the banking industry. We have not seen any dead bodies in the dumpster. Tell us one of the dumbest, stupidest things you've ever done in your business career. You have entered the world of accounting, the place where business dreams and financial reality collide into exciting things like journal entries, debits and credits, and financial statements. Everyday CPA Podcasts, helping you and your business better compete, succeed, and win. Hello, this is Kelly Coughlin. I'm the CEO and a CPA with Everyday CPA. We work with small business owners on strategy, tax, accounting, and risk management throughout the U.S. I personally like to work with soon-to-be or wannabe new business owners. So I'm always on the lookout for innovative and cost-effective solutions to help business owners create, launch, and manage their new enterprise and increase the likelihood of success. And that leads me to my guest today, Ryan Ash. He's the founder and creator of a new business concept called Biz Boostio. I love the name. Ryan, are you there? I am, Kelly. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me on. I'm doing terrific. I love the name Biz Bustio, Ryan. Is that your invention? That is all me. Excellent. Ryan, I sent you an email when I first heard about your group and said I'd like to interview you and ask you five questions on your vision for Biz Bustio. I gave you in advance the categories only, but I didn't pull the CNN debate moderator trick and give you the questions in advance. Is that a correct statement? Yikes, and yes, it is. Excellent. So, Ryan, since you are the brains and the idea guy behind Biz Bustio, here's my first question. Any new business or new business idea, Ryan, has to be filling a need or a void in the market. Let me just ask it simply. What is the need or void Biz Bustio is filling? Well, that's a great question, Kelly. I cannot agree with you more that any new business entity that is just starting needs to fill a void, or in this case, a need. A need that I don't feel is being addressed, for instance, in high school, you weren't given a class to teach you the basics of personal finance. Well, the same is true for small businesses and startups. In this great economy that we are having, there are more small businesses opening up than ever before, but how many of them have the business knowledge or networking connections to maximize their chance of success? That's where we, as a community, and that is key, as a community step in. We as a community want to offer the know-how and experience they aren't finding other places. Cost effectively, of course. What is this community? Is this the is this the Biz Bustio community that you're setting up? Absolutely, it is the Biz Bustio community, the community of small business owners that essentially want to share in expertise, knowledge, and know-how to get each other going and help maximize each other's businesses. It seems like there's a number of companies or organizations that are attempting to bring people together or something similar to this. The groups that come to mind, you mentioned Rotary. I think of, I think of NFIB, I think of Rotary, and LinkedIn. They all kind of do their own space, um, their own kind of unique niche to pulling businesses together. Are these organizations in your space? And if no, why not? And if yes, why are you guys going to be better? Well, I think the best way to address that, Kelly, is we need to take them one at a time. Because as they do have some overlap, they're also very different in their approach. And I think we need to point those differences out. The first one you mentioned, I had mentioned, uh, or you mentioned, was Rotary. I think Rotary does a good job on a local level. Really, that's all it does that's the extent of it, really, in practical terms. The simple truth is we don't live in the pre-digital world anymore. The world is now flat, and we don't have to look at it like Pandora's box has been opened. Quite on the contrary, it is a great opportunity. For example, if you are opening a restaurant in Columbia, Missouri, in the Rotary model, you can talk to other local businesses, and that's great, but how great would it be if you were connected to other restaurant owners across the country and be able to innovate and share experiences of what has been proven to work and what has been proven not to work. Your business will greatly be enhanced and you can provide your customer with a vastly better experience. This is true for all startups and small businesses, Kelly. So you're saying that you would, if I'm starting the restaurant in Columbia, Missouri, for example, 
you're saying that you guys would get me face-to-face meetings with several restaurant owners throughout the country in a virtual environment and share ideas, concepts, experiences. Is that is that it? Or but several what? restaurant owners in different geographical locations. So you can compare in real time and coupled with the experience, that proven experience that other small business owners possess. So you're saying that we would do conversations. We go, we'd pull them together in a platform. Or Absolutely. In a in an audio. So it's not just by text. It's written word, so I can hear people talk and see it, people. It's community. Video. And social. even we also yeah, absolutely we even okay. encourage local meetups and all that. It's a sense of community. So that's the thing with Rotary. But you mentioned a couple other groups that I'd like to address, Kelly. Well, NFIB was the second one. Yes. Are you familiar with them? I am. I'm very familiar with NFIB. They're a large organization. But with any large organization of their size and age, they're going to have bloat. We at Bisbosio want to stay lean and strong for the business owners and not have a top-heavy structure filled with fat cats eating up all the money that should be going to benefit the members. Also, 80 to 90 percent of NFIB's focus is on legislation. And honestly, at the end of the day, how does that benefit small businesses? I mean, they have supported some good bills throughout the years, but they pay very little attention to the business owner community. The most common thing that I hear from former NFIB members, and I hear this a lot actually, Kelly, is, and I quote, I only see them when they want more money. I also don't like the outdated high pressure sales approach they use. They, For instance, Kelly, they have used the same script unchanged for over 50 years, completely unchanged in a door-to-door model that is completely outdated and completely misses the modern digital business market completely. So you're saying that their, their focus tends to be on legislation, so that's D.C. and state capitals, but nothing in terms of business promotion in a social community. I think the average startup that is just getting started doesn't care about all that meaningless hoorah BS in Washington, D.C. They care about their bottom line, and that's what we want to help with. Yeah, they probably don't care about the swamp. They're trying to keep their own the swamp from... They're trying to stay afloat. They're not worrying about draining the swamp currently. Right, good one. But you mentioned another one that I'd like to touch on, Kelly. LinkedIn, yeah. Yeah, it is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is great in some ways, but what it lacks in the eyes is the dedicated community of business owners not being constantly shilled to and having their data sold without their knowledge for profit. LinkedIn started as a place to get a job and has tried to morph into a networking kind of Frankenstein deal. But they really don't want people connecting on the planet Earth. They want you connecting virtually. We think nothing replaces human connection. Bisbustio is not primarily a digital marketplace, but a vibrant, dedicated community again, whose sole purpose is to grow and educate business owners. We are kind of the synthesis of NFIB, Rotary, and LinkedIn, with a little bit of social meetups and Facebook to throw in. We are taking out the bad elements from all those and leaving the good, but adding some really, truly great things. I can't wait till I can share those with you in the future, Kelly. Great. Well, you mentioned Facebook, Mm -hmm. and I just want to talk a few minutes about Facebook in this to put in my two cents uh, as you create this thing. A lot of business people are disgusted by the noise from the Facebook audience Mm -hmm. and the bias and shadow banning going on by the Facebook content managers. So... Is there an online social media component to this? And do you see this being a replacement to Facebook for business owners? Kelly, that's exactly what I meant. Facebook is so out of touch and bloated that it offers, offers very little to help a budding business or any business for that matter. And you don't want to get me started on the data stealing issues they're having going on over at Facebook. Plus, who needs all the scammers and trolls that fill the Facebook platform? It's a true shadow of its former self. It's really, really sad. Interesting. So how will people use this, Ryan? How do they actually connect with others and with other people, other business owners? You say a business owner will be able to get help from other business owners. How do they actually go about that? They begin by listening to our podcast. Then they simply go to www.bizboostio.com where we have additional information. They simply sign up and then we integrate them into the BizBoostio culture and give them the networking tools to connect with other business owners and bam, you're on your way to success. As we are still expanding out, we are giving early adopter rates and offer them exclusive specials in the future as we roll out the uh, features that I mentioned, Kelly. Great. My next question has to do with money. That's always a good one. I know you're doing these podcasts 
for free because I ain't getting paid for it. What's the revenue model for you and Biz Bustio? We expect to charge a reasonable monthly fee of between $40 to $50 to access the community. Although, I have to level with you. I really don't see it as monetization, but I see it as an instrument to improve the lives of as many small businesses as we can. Because unlike some other organizations I spoke about a few moments ago, we realize it's not just about numbers on a balance sheet. It's about mothers and fathers, sons and daughters. It's about family, Kelly. And as Biz Bustio, we want to help make your business life succeed because we know when it succeeds, your family succeeds. And when your family succeeds, America succeeds. Whoa, that's a patriotic theme there, Ryan. Good one. <laughs> I've been known uh, to say those kind of things from time to time. Well, it sounds pretty interesting, Ryan. For me personally and, and frankly professionally, if Biz Bustio could be noise-free, troll-free, shadow ban free like a shadow ban free of Facebook for business owners, that would be great. And I personally think charging a membership fee, while you might get some pushback on membership fee, I frankly think that charging a fee will keep a lot of the riffraff and a lot of the trolls out because free attracts everybody. And sometimes everybody just wants to have a platform where they can spew out stuff. If you charge people, that will get get rid of a lot of the noise. And I frankly wouldn't be interested in it if you didn't charge. I don't want to participate in a platform that's got all of this garbage and noise. If people don't want to pay $50, fine, keep them out. I agree. It does two things, actually, I'd like to point out. It helps filter out those who would be more like internet trolls or less serious. And also, we does take a little bit to fund the dynamite content that we're looking to provide. So I'm glad that you see the value in that. Great. Well, Ryan, I appreciate the time. I wish you the best of success. And uh, I look forward to your next podcast. Good luck. Show me where to sign up. I'll join. 50 bucks a month, I can swing that. Go visit us at www.bizboostio.com and also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at bizboostio or you can follow me directly i am at real ryan ash that is r-e-a-l-r-y-a-n-a-s-h-e thank you for having me on again great thanks ryan yeah thank you so much kelly for having me i really appreciate it kelly thank you very much thank you kelly we'll talk soon thanks for tuning in to the everyday cpa podcast we will see you next time